Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging through commenting, like, subscribing. I appreciate that so, so much. It does make this project much more fun when I have an engaged audience. So we are back in Blue Water Village, which is attached to my Pleasant View because eventually maybe Violet and Jake are going to hang out around here. I don't know what the future holds for them. So we will see about that. But today's client is Malcolm Landgrab the fourth, and people have been asking me to do this one. So yeah, it Malcolm Landgrab is up. Ruthless, cunning, brilliant, ridiculously wealthy. These are just a few words that the locals use to describe the Landgrab family, whose entrepreneurial ambitions can't be stopped by anything but their own mistakes. When you have this much money, you're your own worst enemy. Okay, so just a little bit of lore. So Malcolm Landgrab, uh, there is a Malcolm Landgrab in this, the original Sims console version, who is kind of the, I don't, I wouldn't call him villain, but definitely antagonist of the playthrough. And then, so, and through lore, the Landgrab family actually goes back to the Middle Ages. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check out Malcolm's house. All right, and Malcolm's bio reads, The young, handsome, and naive Landgrab has huge ambitions, as well as lofty expectations of his family to satisfy. With practically endless capital and few scruples, is there anything that will stand in his way? Okay, so... This is a strange house in that as large as this house is, it has but one bedroom. And so we will definitely have to take care of that. Um, we will create a house that would be usable for an entire family. It is. It does have the indoor pool. Uh, so there are other things that we're gonna do. But we're going to do a couple things, like right over here we've got what's clearly meant to be a garage, even though there is no car in open for business. This, of course, is created post nightlife, and so they basically set it up for a car should somebody want to create, have a car for him. So anyway, we're going to do a few things. I'm going to go ahead and evict him because I don't care if it affects him monetarily. And it actually looks like it won't. It looks like everything is appropriately priced. If I were just to take a quick glance. Yeah, I think everything is brand new. So it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and evict him and then get down to it. And so once evicted, Malcolm has a budget of 196952 to work with. Pretty easy. I can do this. So of course now we want to create my tabula rasa as I love to do and then kind of try to come up with a preliminary plan because that's where the rubber meets the road is having a good plan. And I am going to use this area as the garage so I'm going to get rid of this and we will worry about what the lot looks like a little bit later, but we're just gonna get rid of this because there is no need for it. Let's put that roof back on so I can, there we go. And we will worry about that, but I'm gonna use this as the garage because we'll also have a downstairs. We're going to make sure we take advantage of this. So let's prep up for a garage. So we will remove everything from this room. I've got everything removed the way I need it to be removed. We're going to go ahead and put in our, let's see, do I want the red or the, I think I'm going to stick with the gray. And then this all right and now we will put in the wall where it needs to be and also right here taking it to one step or now we will place the foundation i can place the foundation this close 
and I can place this wall also right here. Okay, that's the first step. Now we are going to do the constrained lot elevation. So activate bull prop constrained floor elevation, excuse me, false. And now we are going to connect this right like that. A little bit weird, but that's fine. And then this one also right like that. And now I'm going to just grab this tile from there and I'm going to pull it right like that. And that brings it all the way down. And now I will delete those tiles. Now open my cheat window again and change false to true. Add back in my walls now. Whoa, we got something happening. We got something happening. All right, I see what happened. Something went funky with this, so I'm going to have to delete this. That was my fault. And once we got that out of the way, it should work just fine now. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and activate the cheat again. And we will put in our garage door. And let's see, what kind of door do we think we want? Something like this color, I think. Right like that. And grab that floor tile again and bring it all the way forward right like that and now that everything is constrained properly then undo the cheat there we go and we've got ourselves a garage and now let's just put that roof that we had back in just the way it was although now it seems to want to go this direction I don't know I'll figure it out and now I'm going to exit and center this on the on the lot so I'll be removing three from this side and adding them to this side okay so now that it is centered the way we want the fencing would be awkward as it is so I am going to do a different fence so I am just going to have move objects on while I move this guy over here of course I have to activate it I forgot that I don't have it active okay move this guy over here and then I will grab that fence again and continue right on it and they should be able to walk right through the fence which is fine or drive through the fence and to make it a little less friendly let's go ahead and put a big old gate in front because that's what we like and now let's make sure we take advantage of all of this space because we did get rid of the pool room since I knew that I would be doing this. So yes, let's take advantage of it. Nah, not that. We won't need that. So of course, Malcolm Landgraf's home should be as stately as can be. So I'm going to go ahead and use the very pricey one, two that would be where it belongs the very pricey staircase and turns out that yeah I can't use it anyway and there's not like I can do anything with that so yeah we'll leave that open because I didn't want it further to the back and I'm pretty much I'm putting the stair exactly where it was in the original okay and this will actually be an official entryway right like that and so there will be archways on either side and we're just going to tuck in those little 
small bathrooms like I do just because it makes sense and this will be a back hallway out here. One thing I didn't know or notice earlier is there is this long wall that was supposed to be the fireplace wall, but that makes no sense to me because then you don't get to enjoy these windows. And so we'll put a fireplace here and then bookshelves or something here so it becomes a more useful area. And there is this up here, so I, would, I went ahead and left it for the chimney and probably place a fireplace in there as well. So through here we're going to have oops that will be the dining room that's going to be a bit of a mud room a little bit of a hallway that will attach the dining room and this will be the kitchen and formal living room so this is kind of the more entertainment area of his home and in the interest of symmetry and synchronicity, I'm going to do basically the same floor plan on this side, but it has slightly different dimensions. And I think I'm going to, I might consider putting a fireplace here too. I haven't made my final decision. And now tasked with finding a workable floor plan. So should Malcolm ever have a family, I decided upon instead of this being his office, because I'll have one of these downstairs rooms as his office, this will be his bedroom. And then that will be his private bath. And then we will have an identical bath on the opposite side. And then there's a hallway right here, separating two bedrooms. And they each have a closet and Malcolm will have a closet space over here as well. And so now I'll have to turn move objects off so I can add the doors because you can't add doors on diagonals with move objects on. So whenever I'm confronted with diagonals I search for ways to make them honestly less horrible. Is the, they, They're never good but less horrible. So this way he has like a hallway that's separated his bathroom and closet from his main bedroom. And in addition to being kind of a connecting space, the mudroom is also going to be where we get to the basement, right like that. And now that I'm finished with the floor plan that I find acceptable, I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating. Now for the reveal. So there are going to be some empty spaces because I was running pretty low on my funds, but let's go ahead and take a look. From the outside, the only major changes would be that I got rid of this detached garage over here. Of course, over here, I made an attached garage to the foundation. We are going to double check to make sure he can indeed drive through this. If not, I will have to make that adjustment. And I put this fencing, which is 10 simoleons less per length than the base game wrought iron, and it's just prettier. And I want to know, does anybody actually use these medallions? I only left them there because they were already there, but I never use them elsewise. Now the back deck was mahogany with the wrought iron. I made it a bit more friendly. Mahogany is not an outdoor wood. I don't know what they were thinking, but I made it friendlier with that. And up here we do have that wrought iron fencing, base game wrought iron fencing. But yes, this is just friendlier. And Malcolm's not a friendly guy, but you know, somebody influenced somewhere, whatever. And now for the interior, as we enter, of course, we are presented with the grand staircase, which will probably disappear. Yep, it did. All right. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it. Let's see if I can actually point it up. Yeah. Okay. Not sure if you can tell, but up here I have that big, beautiful mansions and gardens, two-story chandelier right there. Yep. It does exist. Now to the right is the more formal living area. We have the 
formal dining room right here with the centered, actually it looks a little, little off center, but centered bouquet that I used the floating shelf to get it there. And straight ahead with access to the right, to the right, to the left, and also to the dining room is a galley kitchen. We've got some clutter on the, on the counter. This is the formal sitting area slash library. I don't actually have a lot of decorative items in this build because I didn't really have the budget for it. I really didn't. All right. And through the kitchen is access to what would be a mud room as, and this will be access to the garage and access to the outdoors as well as the basement. The garage, we do have an inexpensive car because I need to check to make sure, but not the cheapest one because I wasn't gonna buy him the cheapest one, but not the most expensive either. He couldn't afford too much in the way of car. Now back through the dining room, behind the grand staircase is a little bit of a hallway which connects you to Malcolm's office where he berates people because he's Malcolm. Yes, yes. And then past his office is the conservatory and you have to have dining chairs for them to sit and listen. They won't sit and listen on any other form of seating as far as I can tell. But very warm, very friendly and through the conservatory and there is another small hallway but attached to the conservatory is the game room we've got chess we've got billiards and we've got darts you know the sophisticated games for the sophisticated gentlemen upstairs at the top of the hall when you go to your right and then down the hall here is the door to malcolm's bedroom and you're immediately presented with the door to his closet, so you make a turn. I am getting better at these first-person tours, as long as the house is big enough. And then we have a very large bedroom for Malcolm with a fireplace. Right now, all we have is a bed, two nightstands, and an armoire. Figure that as he earns more money, he can outfit it better. Two identically appointed bathrooms up here with the old time tub, toilet, and sink. I really felt like I'm not trying to fit Malcolm's personality in here because this is a generational house, so this has many generations of personality. And on the opposite side, there is another hallway leading to two bedrooms and a bathroom. Now, both of these bedrooms are actually empty because, again, ran out of money, but use the Cheerio paper and a nice Berber, very, it's, it's not super masculine, but it's not super feminine either. It's pretty neutral. And then on this one, the green and the purple, very, very rich colors, and I highly approve of this color combination. I love this color combination. Chef's kiss, love. Now the spiral staircase exits, it, exits out onto an empty room, which ostensibly will eventually be like a party room through here. And it's very hard to do a first person in the basement. Through here, we have a workout room. There are two little bathrooms and there's also two powder rooms on the main level, but two little bathrooms right like that. And over here, we have our ballet room. I have a feeling that if Malcolm had a daughter, he would just be all about his daughter becoming a famous ballerina because that would just please him to no end. And then we have an indoor swimming pool, nicely appointed in blues and grays so Malcolm can escape his hectic life. Now let's put Malcolm in and see what he has to say, see if he can actually drive that car. Okay, 
Malcolm's getting dropped off. He went to the left, decided to play pool. That does not surprise me at all for him. And he doesn't have good pool skills, but maybe he can work on it. Let's go for a ride. Okay, he's getting in and backing out right through the right through. So, yep, that worked just great. And he's already back because they don't take too long. Good job, Malcolm. Six toilets in the house. He goes to one of the least convenient ones, but that's okay. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Go ahead and get a little bit of that. All right, and Rod Humble just dropped off his computer, so we should just go get that. Okay, good job on that body skill. Open that up, please. And now he's going to go ahead and do some typing because he is a businessman. Well, I feel like this is going to be a great place. And if anyone's crazy enough to marry him for the money, I feel like it's a good chance that they will have a great life. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.